I, I don't. I don't think it's an overstatement to say it. I mean, this is revolutionary in terms of holding government officials accountable, not just police officers, but I mean, we saw this in Iran when the, revolu the Iranian revolution a couple summers ago, we saw these videos coming out of the government cracking down on these protesters. And these videos were, were getting sent up to satellites and beamed all over the world before the government could do anything about it. Um, there's a, you know, George Orwell has a famous saying, is, uh, he says, if you want to envision the future of uh, humanity, imagine a boot stepping on a human face forever, right? A very sort of pessimistic view of government. Yes. But, you know, I think it, he's probably still right, uh, but now there's probably someone who's going to be around with a cell phone camera to take a video and post it on YouTube. And really, I mean, transparency is, I think, half the battle. This little thing is a weapon against tyranny. It is. It absolutely is. And I think we're, we should, I mean, not only should we sort of celebrate that, that technology, that we have this huge weapon against tyranny in our pockets, but I, we need to make sure that the laws protect the way we use it and that uh, ensure that we can continue to use it that way. But Jim Pascoe of the Fraternal Order of Police says we have to put some faith and trust in our authority figures. And it has a chilling effect camera on officers who are now afraid to act for fear of retribution by video. I mean, I think if you're a police officer and you're carrying a gun and a badge, you're holding yourself up to sort of a higher level of accountability. Uh, and if you're doing your job right, uh, you shouldn't have anything to fear from every citizens having video. It, should, it will probably help you more than it will hurt you. And here's one example that happened just right outside the studio. A policeman charged a bicyclist with attempted assault. He claimed that the bicyclist just rode into him on purpose. But then this video turned up. Clearly not on purpose. What happened there? Uh, I mean, in this case, uh, the police officer lost his job. I think that's probably a good thing. Me too. Uh, one last case. In Washington, D.C., a police officer got angry when he drove past a snowball fight and his car was hit with snowballs. Throw another snowball. Get back up on the curb. He denied that he ever drew his gun. The department backed him until this video appeared. What happened then? Well, I mean, this case really illustrates how powerful these citizen shot videos are. In this case, uh, the, the D.C. Police Department continued to say that there was no gun drawn well after this video was on YouTube and had, had spread all over Twitter. But this video clearly shows he did have his gun drawn, and the officer ended up getting, I think he got a 10 or 20 day suspension. Uh, but, you know, this, again, this is why this technology is so powerful. Until now, until everybody had these cameras in their pockets, uh, the police narrative was the official narrative. We That's had the only the narrative we had. And now and we, can, we, can, we can challenge that narrative. I assume usually they tell the truth, but it's good that we have cameras. Thank you, Radley Balco. It made me think about Spiro Agnew, President Nixon's vice president, who was forced to resign after it was revealed that he took bribes when he was a county executive. He was from Maryland, too. Is there more political corruption in states where reporters may not use secret taping? Maybe. Around the time Agner was exposed, a slew of other Maryland politicians were caught in corruption scandals. One governor, two county executives, a congressman, the Speaker of the State House, and a U.S. Senator. That's why I'm glad that James O'Keefe does his stings. Private individuals deserve privacy, but people who get your tax money deserve less. And government officials who have the right to use physical force against others deserve still less. So hooray for the cameras. They capture dirty truths that otherwise stay hidden. And when it's public money, the public deserves to know. That's our show tonight. I'm John Stossel. Good night.